Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America, and Joe Biden has run out of runway, ladies and gentlemen. It is nowhere to run, nowhere to hide time for the President of the United States. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. If Joe Biden and the White House believed that Republicans were playing games with impeachment, well, game time's over. It's now reality check time. Republicans have announced that the first hearing will be on September 28th, and you can bet all eyes, at least our eyes, are going to be tuned in to see that. Can you imagine the first hearing in the impeachment inquiry of Joe Biden? What kind of evidence are we going to see? Well, we kind of have an idea. According to James Comer, who is the head of of that committee, the Oversight Committee, they're going to subpoena, at least right now, the bank records of Hunter Biden and James Biden, Joe Biden's brother. So that's going to be a big thing right there. I mean, let's see. Do all trails lead back to 10% for the big guy? It's going to be interesting to find out. And of course, there's the threat that Hunter Biden, Jim Biden, and other Bidens, the whole Biden, the Biden bunch, the Biden bunch, that's the way they became the Biden bunch, might be appearing before Congress. You know, they could do a little thing, like a montage, but instead of the pictures, like you have the pictures of the Bidens pop up, like the Brady bunch, and then after their pictures, a the picture goes away, and like how much money they received pops up. That would be an interesting montage, Bide, the Biden bunch, like a sitcom. Somebody do that, get that to Hollywood. The point here, folks, is this is going to be something to watch. This is going to be a television event. And, you know, I keep hearing from the media, well, there's no evidence. There's no evidence. Well, okay. A, there is evidence, or we wouldn't be starting an impeachment inquiry. But B, the entire point of an impeachment inquiry is to acquire evidence. And I, I sit here and I look baffled as I see media people who know better. I know they know better. Because I know better. We know what an impeachment inquiry is for. We know the point of it. So when they sit there and they say, well, there's no evidence, that is the entire point of an impeachment inquiry. That's like saying, well, the police are investigating this. Well, there's no evidence. Well, that's why they're investigating. It, it, it's, I don't know if they're trying to sell it to themselves or they're trying to sell it to people who are watching, mainly liberals, right, who just don't want to believe that the Bidens did anything wrong, they want to believe this is a Republican witch hunt, and so they're just selling this bill of goods. That is not the media's job, and I'm not going to get on here and drag the media. I do that all the time, and for good reason, because I know they know better than what they're doing, and it, it frustrates me. But we are now finally, finally going to start getting some answers. If I were you, I would not get my hopes too high for an impeachment anytime soon. I think the inquiry will drag out, and I think that will be by design. I think that's gonna, they're going to try and drag this out, I think, to the election. And then we might land on an impeachment, we might not, but you can drag the inquiry out long enough that that still looms over the president's head for the entire election cycle. And that's a big deal. So I know what Matt Gates is saying, and he has his issues with Speaker McCarthy, and I'm not picking sides. I'm not picking sides in what I think is a ridiculous Republican civil war that only serves to divide us, unite the Democrats, and get us defeat at the ballot box time and time again. Nobody, nobody does infighting quite like the Republicans, and it's shameful, honestly. Um, I understand what Mr. Gates is saying, but Mr. McCarthy... He's on Team Trump, 100%, and he is a chess player. He knows what he's doing. I do have confidence that Speaker McCarthy knows exactly what he's doing, is timing it exactly the way he wants to time it, and is doing this the proper way to get exactly what he wants from this election cycle. I do think there is a lot of politics at play. I'm not going to lie to you. I think there's a lot of politics at play. I also happen to believe there are crimes here. But I don't know that. I haven't seen the evidence. When I do see all the evidence, I can make a judgment, as can you, as can the American people. But right now, we have what we believe. I believe that the Biden family is as corrupt as the day is long. And I believe this impeachment inquiry is going to show it. And I believe McCarthy knows what he's doing. 
I want to know what you guys think, so please let me know in the comments. Also, again, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. It really helps us out. I'm Carmine Sabia. This is Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody.